Hello again everybody, this is a Grey House from The Document coming to you today with this documentary for my arena space that adjoins my armory. We're in the armory now, as you may have noticed, um, which is part of the play space. The fact that everything that is um, recessed on these shelves helps prevent any concern over things uh, getting knocked over or broken or damaged, that sort of thing. So we do go ahead and include it in the available uh, space for combat. Uh, exiting the armory, you'll find just a small square area that leads out sort of into the main area of uh, the arena. And as you exit, it will become clear that the space is essentially just one giant L shape. Um, a very simple space. You just come right out forward and you take a right and you can look in essentially on the rest of the area that you have to play in. But there's a lot of variability in where the wall lines are, lots of small corners to duck around. Um, makes for some extremely interesting possibilities when you start thinking of cover and certainly in general as well. But the simple L shape that you get out of this space makes for some very fast matches, particularly if you go light on the cover in the area. You can build up an incredible head of steam um, running uh, through these areas, chasing each other, um, getting into close range very rapidly. It's very exciting, particularly one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two -two play, um, which is what the space was sort of intended to be used for when I decided it, this, that was what this portion of my new house was going to be. Um, you'll see over here we just have a, a large selection of uh, empty, empty boxes and wire racks and, and so forth to assist in, in the creation of cover schemes. Um, but coming out of the, of the armory area there, again, you come over here to the cent central area, which is... We'll back into a nice even corner, and then you see the um, the other extremity, and this L shape uh, creates essentially two bases, you know, roughly equal distances apart from the center, um, uh, which you know helps support small teams. We did test this once uh, in a 3v3, and it went really well, and it was plenty of fun, but we've only done it once, so it's hard to tell exactly uh, how viable it is. Uh, the upstairs may eventually be included as well. Um, we just need to get some more players uh, around who can be present and counted on uh, to participate before we bother uh, doing that, uh, going that route. But uh, coming along outside of this main center area, you'll see that the other base, if that's what you want to call it, is not only adorned with this disgusting wallpaper, but is much uh, wider open than the armory space, has a groovy foosball table, um, but most importantly, has two entrances and or, you know, however you want to put it, two exits. You can walk right around and come right back out. This helps balance the fact that it's a little bit more of a comfortable area to be in uh, for uh, in terms of falling back than the foos room or rather than the armory space that um, can sort of make you feel trapped. But on the same token, it's being, having such a wide entrance makes it much easier to see what's going on and having two methods of assault makes it that much easier to mount an attack on the space. Um, that's pretty much it for the empty space. Um, I'm going to take a minute and get everything set up for you and show you exactly what it's like when it is loaded down with cover. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back in the armory. We're going to take a look now at the same space, only adorned with cover. What you're about to see it represents the sort of densest cover scheme uh, that we've come up with for the arena space. Uh, with, and it changes depending on how many people are available to play or what exact uh, type or speed of game uh, we're interested in at the time. Uh, but we're going to show you everything at the moment uh, just to give you the full picture. Coming out of the, the armory into sort of the main open area, You'll see this interesting TP construction. This is new and untested, but I really kind of like its potential. Uh, the nice little nest space. Both bases have a construction like this, which is essentially designed to provide each team with a single point of cover that is easily defensible, uh, that allows them to look out into the center space uh, and see threats coming. Um, moving right along, you'll see that uh, cover is designed in incremental steps to allow forward progression without pinching the player into small alleys. Uh, so you can bounce between this sturdy piece of cover over here and whip around behind the drum set construction and get nice wide views of the opposing base and the other player locations. You can also, of course, back uh, from this piece, get uh, views on the other base. 
Again, from there, you can bounce forward uh, to this piece, which is essentially the uh, armory-based team's final piece of cover before making a direct assault on the other base area. Um, in the center of the space is a highly fortified area that has only one entrance in this little alley here, just wide enough to allow people to get in there quickly without having to slow down or twist to the side or anything like that. Um, one thing I do look for when I'm constructing a cover scheme is balance. Certainly you want both teams to have similar flexibility and defensive potential from their cover, but that doesn't necessarily mean the cover needs to be symmetrical. Uh, in the case of the, this construction for the center area, you'll see that players from the Foos uh, room side team uh, have to deal with a much lower, broader piece of cover uh, than those coming from the armory. Um, however, players defending the center area from Foos team players uh, have a second layer of cover uh, that they can get behind in the form of uh, this little construction in the far rear of the center area. Now, um, and one of the other things I like to do with cover is just sort of make use some interesting pieces to provide some variability um, or some, you know, interesting dramatic moments. And this uh, shelf from a metal uh, metal rack. Uh, it's very difficult to get a dart through there, but it's possible so that uh, players might feel pretty comfortable back there, but could get unexpectedly nailed, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, also, you'll see that we've got a heavy, powerful oscillating fan, which may or may not be used, uh, depending on the preference of the moment, uh, that oscillates around the full arc of uh, the center area to di uh, divert flight paths of projectiles and uh, offer a little bit sturdier defense to anyone who uh, decides to take up residence in there. Um, but as I was saying, you've got two layers of cover here, neither of which are nearly as strong as the single uh, narrower but much taller piece of cover um, that must be dealt with by players coming from the armory area. As you can see, the, the lines of sight are much weaker, but the cover of uh, on the approach to the center area is much better for uh, the armory team and they still can get you know once they've approached say over here they've got some really vicious line of sight on anybody who may have taken up residence behind this area with the blue sheet and they can also lay absolute waste to anybody back here if they can make it all the way up to the drum set um, this is another one of my favorite little pieces of cover. It's very dangerous because of the brick. I've shredded a foot making an ill-advised jump up here before. I bled all over the carpet, um, which uh, has led to the uh, m now uh, mandatory use of shoes by players uh, just to make sure. Um, but uh, it's got a little pad here, uh, so it's easier to kneel. Um, once you get up here, you've got an full body piece of cover that's uh, going to provide lots of defense. It provides a great line of sight um, across the rest of the center area and has this little nook back here for making some uh, sneaky, hard to resist shots on the center area. Moving on finally to the uh, Foos base area. Uh, you'll see here this is that same sort of single piece of major cover designed to look out onto the, the center area. And you'll see that despite the fact um, that it is much more wide open and it doesn't have these t um, higher uh, cover area that that sort of TP nest does, you can see a lot more of what's going on, which works both ways in the case of the Foos base players have a much easier time knowing what enemies are doing if they're held up in here than they do uh, attempting to assault the armory um, beyond just it being wider with wider openings. Um, it is made uh, easier to assault by the fact that it does have two ways in or two ways out depending on how you're looking at it. Um, look at that hideous wallpaper. <sighs> um, so despite the fact that this base has a lot more going on than the Foos Room base, um, many more places 
to hide yourself. A lot more variability. You've got those two big rooms back there. You've got the closet space that you can crap, um, curl up in if you really want. You've got these wonderful little closets of which there are more than a dozen in this basement. I have no idea what they were thinking when they remodeled this space, whoever it was who had this home before me. Um, but they're everywhere and they can provide some uh, wonderful uh, extra options to players trying to defend this space uh, or to improvise some additional cover and so forth. Uh, but despite that, the large mirror on the closet, the wide open entrance, the two methods of assault help to balance uh, all of that. Um, and so, you know, the end result has been that uh, neither base seems particularly overpowered. Um, it's more comfortable, certainly, to be in the Foos area because you've got all that space, uh, but it doesn't necessarily make it better. Uh, players do tend to opt for it, but it doesn't mean they win, um, which is, you know, that's the idea. Um, but that's just about it. That has been the armory, in, or the arena, rather, including cover. Uh, this has been a great house with this documentary. Uh, please do stop by the site. I will have lots more content, uh, as I always promise in these videos, and thank you to everybody who's uh, already uh, left their comments and visited and, and become members. Uh, very grateful. Thank you very much for pushing me up past 1,000 hits so quickly. Hope that uh, ride can continue, and take care.